How you doing? I'm Matt Walden, pro drifter, and today we're here with Mishimoto and a 1998 E36 BMW. We're going to be installing this radiator in the car today. As you can see, it's undeniably better than the stock one. Stock one plastic, Mishimoto, fully TIG welded. Look at the beautiful welds on this. Fully polished end tanks. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. You know, performance, looks, reliability, you got it all in one package right here. For installation of the Mishimoto radiator in a 1998 E36 3-series BMW, you will need a 10mm wrench, ratchet and extension, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, Teflon tape, number 4 hose clamp, a crescent wrench, flathead screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a coolant funnel. Difficulty rating is a 3 out of 5 and should take about an hour and a half. First step in working on the BMW in any Mishimoto product is to remove the negative battery terminal, which is located in the trunk. After you've removed the battery, next step is to jack up the vehicle and securely support it using jack stands. All right, make sure the car is completely cooled off before this next step. We're gonna be removing the radiator drain plug out of the bottom of it, and that's gonna be right here. Get it loosened up with a flathead screwdriver first, and then you should be able to unscrew it by hand. Make sure you have a drain pan ready to go as well. Next step is to remove the front intake duct, air dam and stuff. And that's gonna be taken off by removing four eight millimeters head size bolts. And the alternator duct as well. And that one's held on by a hose clamp right on top of the alternator. Next step to installing the Mishimoto hose kit is to undo the top hose clamps on the upper radiator hose of the E36 BMW. Next step is to remove the lower radiator hose. And this one actually you can get to from inside the engine bay. There's two clamps, one on the lower side of the radiator and one right on the front of the engine. Next is to undo the upper radiator mounting points. These are a little tricky. What you do is you put a flat blade screwdriver down in there like that, press the tab apart, lift, and pull it out. Should be able to pull this hose right off. And we're gonna be replacing this with a regular worm clamp. And the next step is to remove the fan shroud from the radiator itself. There's push pins on the top sides of the radiator. Remove this temperature sensor from the side of the radiator. There's a push clip on the bottom. Once you get this thing loose and separated from the radiator, you're gonna to wanna to pull the radiator straight up and just make sure she's out of the way here. If you like BMW quality and performance, then you're gonna love this Mishimoto radiator. Fully welded, full metal construction. As you can see, the end tank has already been broken off. You know, you're not gonna find that here with the uh, Mishimoto piece. This rad is also thicker than the OE rad, so you're gonna get better cooling on the track, street, wherever you use your E36. This comes, also comes with a lifetime warranty. All you have to do is contact them. They have a full lifetime warranty on all their performance radiators. All right, while we have the two side by side, we're gonna go ahead and transfer the rubber isolators from the one radiator from the OE to back over to the Mishimoto and get everything situated and get the Mishimoto prepped and ready for installation. Got two on top and two on the sides. Once you get the rubber isolators in, unscrew the temperature sensor from the side of the OE red and prepare it for installation inside of the Mishimoto side. We're gonna wrap this in Teflon tape. Just make sure we get a good seal. We don't want any leaks when this is, when this is in there. Set the radiator down in. Make sure that the, these rubber posts sit right in their holsters down below. After everything is secure with the radiator, make sure you plug in the coolant temperature sensor on the side of the end tank. For our next trick, we're gonna install Mishimoto supplied hardware to hold the fan shroud in place. Once the fan shroud is securely fastened, you can button down the top. Radiator stays as well. A number four hose clamp is gonna be required 
for reinstallation of the upper bleed off tube. Time to install the Mishimoto hoses. What you want to do is get your hose clamps ready to go on this. Slide it on the upper water neck here and one on the top of the radiator and screw them down. Make sure they're nice and tight. That way you don't have any leaks. After you got the upper hose on, time to install the lower one. Feed this guy up. Make sure you put the hose clamp on this hose before you feed it up through there. It's kind of tight to get to. After you got everything all buttoned up, install the front air dam. Don't forget, Mishimoto lifetime warranty. Just because we're covering it up, doesn't mean that they still don't offer it. You're good to go there. After everything's buttoned up, all the nuts and bolts are tight, made sure the drain plug was tight on the radiator, we can go ahead and begin refilling things. Half water, half antifreeze, fill, refill the system. Don't be surprised if it takes a little bit more than what came out. After you're done refilling the reservoir, make sure you screw this in. And this is a German car, so make sure it's good and tight. Now that we got everything buttoned up, we're ready to attach the negative battery terminals back on the batteries. After the radiator is all refilled, go ahead and turn the car on and turn the heat on high. That way, any air bubbles in the heater core system can escape through the radiator and through the water next. After you start the vehicle, you want to watch the temperature gauge on the dash and make sure it doesn't overheat. This concludes the installation portion of your new Mishimoto product.